Hello and Assalamu alaikum. I will trust scan diagnostic. Sir, this is the CBCD of the patient that you had requested. The area of interest that has been highlighted to us is 4, 5 and 6 for implants and um, endodontics for the lower left 6. Now this is the, uh, the panoramic view. Um, as you can very clearly see on the panoramic view you can, that there is the lower left six will help out with the, there is absolutely no chance of an endodontic treatment. Um, this tooth is, this is the use of the major roots, but the furcation is involved. And here you can see, um, that we believe that obturating and filing in this region is going to be slightly difficult as your file won't be able to go from the crown portion into the root portion because of this absolute void. So the lower left six uh, needs to be extracted uh, uh, ASAP. Um, the lower left first molar has a, a major lesion, or has two canals in the mesial uh, root and then has two canals in the, uh, sorry, has one wide canal. Um, initially goes to make two and then um, joins to form one. So it's a one to one configuration in the distal and we've got a, a two configuration in the mesial. Um, so that is the lower left segment. The upper left, um, instead of the four, I think it is the five and the upper five is a PTR. For implant placement, you've got a ridge width of 8.8 .8 millimeters and approximately 9 millimeters of height. Um, we would, however, recommend each implant is not possible and a delayed post grafting implant should be placed here. Moving to the lower left region, so we've got 5 and 6 in this region, we've got a BDR in the region of the 5. Um, here, if we remove the BDR, we've got 9 millimeters, millimeters of which with, with 13 millimeters of height. Um, so they, this is an absolutely wonderful place for a immediate implant placement. Um, we feel like this is either idiopathic osteosclerosis or a root fragment from the previous extraction. Um, but we've got very good ridge width in the molar region, 9 millimeters of height with 12 millimeters. 9 millimeters of width with 12 millimeters of height. We've also gone and placed three virtual implants um, so that our doctor can see how the implants look on the planning. Thank you very much.